KDWB. Text your sister and let her know. War of the Roses is starting right now on KDWB. I wonder if people cheat more during this season. Maybe there's hmm. the days are longer, so there's yeah. more opportunity. Yeah. And you're wearing less clothing, so it's more convenient oh. to, to cheat. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we get cheaters year-round on War of the Roses, but here it is, like summertime, and we're going to find out whether yeah. you know it, it has anything to do with it. So let me talk to Madison. Madison, you were uh, at the cabin, and something weird happened that made you think your husband, Craig, is seeing your friend, Sadie? Yeah. All right. Tell us what happened. Yeah, so basically, um, we were at the cabin with a bunch of friends, and um, my husband, Craig, and I have a, a code word, you know, basically, you know, in front of the kids for when we want to have sex, and we'll say, like, let's feed the dogs later, or do you want to go feed the dogs? Like, some variation of that. Okay. Um, and I assume only him and I, you know, know that. So we were at the cabin with this group of friends, and... Um, my friend Sadie, my very good friend Sadie, was in the kitchen um, with Craig, and I heard her say, we should go feed the dogs after everyone goes to sleep later. And I was like, that's so weird. Um, that feels so very telling. Like, I would immediately, I would immediately just like, get that sinking feeling in my stomach, I feel like. Well, I'd be I like, okay, uh, several things are wrong here. First of all, the fact that he would share your code word yep. with Sadie but or, I don't know if he did, I'm assuming. Well, why it else would you say like feed it, the yeah. dogs later? But yeah. also, here's yeah. something really creepy. Mm -hmm. What if Sadie, that was her code word with her. Is Sadie married also? Yes. What if Sadie's got that code word with her husband and, you're, oh, and she taught man. it to your husband and now your husband uses it to use? So now all of y'all are using, do you want to go feed the dogs later? Okay, I so... Mean, all well, All of these things are possible. I, now you're I, not you're not hooking up with Sadie's husband, are you? Be honest. <laughs> no. You laugh, but no, you know what? No. Stranger things have happened. That is true. I mean, I guess. Okay. For the moment, I still like my husband, but what did you? Um, did how did they not hear? Did you like walk in, or were you coming out of the bathroom, or how did they not hear you when they were flirting? I was like coming around the hallway. Maybe they did, but I don't think they saw me. But I mean, I heard it. See, you have um, more restraint so, than I do because I would have said you're going to do what? You're going to yeah. you're going to feed the dogs. That's oh, that's so silly. cute. <laughs> what is that? What the are you two doing? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I don't want to get too crazy until I, you know, until I know, kind of thing. Um, but then I like I was like, let's see if he gets up in the middle of the night. So we get in bed. I don't remember. Maybe like ten o'clock. And at 11.30, because I could barely sleep, at 11.30, he gets up, and he starts to leave the room. Mm -hmm. And I wake up, I, I'm like, excuse me, where are you going? And he's like, oh, I'm, you know, pretending, like, to be out of it. Like, I'm going to the bathroom, and I'm like, you're leaving the room. Like, and he's like, oh, I, like, I didn't, it's the wrong door. And then he went to the bathroom, got back in bed, and then he, he didn't leave. Well, yeah, but, now I know uh, you were on guard, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so uh, it's it always amazes me on War of the Roses that when people don't say, I heard you say this, I know this evidence, I saw this, but I think a lot of the time they don't want to spring it on them until they have more evidence. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can gather more evidence for you. We're going to call your husband and set a trap and say, hey, you can win this dozen roses to send to whoever you want to and mm -hmm. uh, and then hopefully he'll pick you but even if he does pick you i'm suspicious about Me the too. feed the dog and up in the middle I of the don't night like it. yeah not at all all right well we'll find out what's gonna go on. at least we can start there we'll do that when we come back in a second jonathan fogel will be here from fogel family law to give us some legal advice on custody and support My back to dave ryan's war of the roses on kdwb if you miss part one, I'm going to give you a little reset. Basically, the her and her husband have a code word for the love, and it's like, hey, do you want to go feed the dogs? Oh, you know what we should do tonight? We should feed the dogs. I'm going to go upstairs. You want to come with me and feed the dogs? You get it. So cute. So Adorable. they're at the cabin, I think, last weekend. She didn't say, but I'm going to guess it was last weekend. And she comes in from the lake, out by the lake, to come in the kitchen to get a bottle of ketchup or something, and she hears her best friend and her husband, unbeknownst to them, she's there 
listening in and she hears one of, I think her girlfriend said, yeah, you know what, we, maybe we can feed the dogs later tonight when everybody's asleep. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Nope, immediate okay. no, yeah. Okay, so she's like, what? Obviously, they've probably done this before. She's got her radar up now. She's watching the rest of the day. She waits up that night. About 1130, her husband gets out of bed, and she feels him get up, hears him get up. He walks toward the hallway door, and she says, hey, what are you doing? He's like, I'm going to the bathroom. And she says, the bathroom's that way. Apparently, it's one of the cabins. has got a bathroom right there in the bedroom. Nice cabin. Mm-hmm. So now he's like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm groggy. Uh, okay. So he gets back into bed. She lays awake the rest of the night. Nothing happens. So she wants to find out by doing War of the Roses. We're going to have to do this a little bit differently. Let's make the phone call and see who he wants to send roses to on KDWB. Then we'll talk to Jonathan Vogel. Coming up next. Craig, we're going to send out a dozen long stem romantic roses this week. I need to get the name of the recipient. Who would you like to receive this beautiful bouquet? Oh, uh, uh, my wife, uh, Madison. Okay, got it. I know you don't know me, Craig. My name's Brittany, like I said. Um, I'm actually mm-hmm. friends with, I think we have mutual friends with uh, someone named Sadie. And mm-hmm. I, yeah, and anyway, she asked me to call and gave me your number just to see if you would pick her or not, because she really was hoping you would pick her and not your wife, just because, you know, you've meant so much to her and girl's relationship. So anyway, there aren't real flowers. She kind of just wanted to see if you would pick her or your wife. Wait, wait. So so I'm, I'm not clear. I mean, you're, you're friends with Sadie? I don't... Yes, Understand. I am friends with Sadie, your girlfriend, and she was just like, hey, will you call him because he makes me feel like we're something, but I really want to make sure. So I called just to see who you would pick to send their fake roses uh-huh. to, and you chose your wife, and I think Sadie, I know Sadie, was hoping you would pick her. That's ridiculous. Of course I'm going to pick my wife. I, I can't pick Sadie. I mean, she's married. Like, who am I? Who am I gonna? Where, where am I gonna send them to our house? Have her husband answer the door and, and get and get the flowers? I mean, that's that was that's absurd. I can't believe she put you up to this. That's the really. I, I don't understand that. I think I mean, she's she wanted, knows that. She, I, she should understand that too. I, mean, I she's think married. she wanted I'm to make married. sure that you're. She's as important to you as you say she is. Yeah, no, she she is important. She knows that. But I mean, I can't have flowers sent to her. That's kind of an absurd way to think. Is she? Is, is she? Is she Man, there with you? I mean, like, I. What a tangled web we weave. What? Oh, what do you mean? Yeah, I know. What? And now you're like, oh god, what? That, now yeah. what's going what? on? It gets worse, bro. What the hell? It gets worse. What are you talking about? Well, like, okay, who is well, this? Let me let me explain. Um, it's it's worse because I'm listening, and also, God, here's the hard part. Your wife Madison is the one who put us up to this. Not, not Sadie. Sadie. So Madison is listening on the phone because she heard you and Sadie making comments about let's go feed the dogs when everybody goes to sleep. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. And so your wife put us up to calling you to see who you would send roses to. And you sent them to your wife. And then now you're explaining to Sadie's friend that, yeah, you do like Sadie, but you would have sent them to her. But her husband would have seen him. What a mess. Madison, let Craig know that you're here, that you're in on this. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say, but it's it's crazy. I knew it. I knew when you got up to go to the bathroom, or so you say, I knew it. I cannot believe this is it absurd. Me, let along with my friend. This is crazy. You yeah, developed crazy. this. No, you 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 developed this crazy plot. This weird. You involve these people that call me and offer free flowers. And Did it work? It, it just it was too easy. This is insane. I can't believe you would do all this. Well, it worked. I mean, she got her answer from you. I love how you're going to spin this on me. It is on you. Look, look, look what you did. Look, you, you had me so confused. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to we catch me giving flowers part. to somebody else? 
I, just, I, I, I chose you. It's Cassie just like when he was confused where the bathroom was, Madison. Uh, he, he gets confused so easily. I really don't get what, what, what's going on here. Madison, I, I don't understand why you came up with this elaborate ruse uh, to try to trick me on the phone. This is absurd. I don't know who these other people are, if they're really Brittany or whatever from the flower store or Sadie of your friend. I mean, I don't get it. Well, you know, I, I don't understand why you would do this. If this is how you're going to treat me, I mean, if this is what you think is going on in a relationship, you know what? I, I'm not going to come home tonight, okay? Uh, you know, I mean, we don't just take a little ever. time off. This is ridiculous. I can't believe this is f***ish. This is, this is crazy. <laughs> that, is that gaslighting when when a guy totally or anybody totally turns it around and makes it? Is that gaslighting or is that deflecting? Well, in his case, I would say that's deflecting because mm-hmm. he wasn't like saying this didn't happen. He, he was saying, "Yeah, you made it up. You're crazy." He was simple. He was say, he was changing the subject basically to it's not about him. It's about. Her creating this whole messed up plot. That's messed up. Such an ugly strategy when somebody like says, hey, you've done something wrong and you've hurt me. And they turn around and point out all the things that you are doing wrong. That is an ugly strategy. Uh, Text messages. He says this one says he's just mad because he got caught. Yep. Uh, He won't pick the side action because she's married too. said somebody before made the phone call, which is very true. She's married too. I wonder what her husband thinks of this um thanks for listening to war of the roses we always follow up with jonathan vogel vogel family law he is a a great family attorney he will do a free consultation for you if you're thinking about a divorce or you're having trouble a lot of people post divorce are having trouble with their ex-partner if there's kids involved or maybe you want to lower your payment maybe you have to pay spousal maintenance and you want to lower it jonathan vogel can dive into that and help you out jonathan vogel i was talking to your brother david for probably about an hour via text last night you know what we were talking about jonathan I'm guessing it was magic. It was magic tricks because... Are you serious? Yep. Yeah. Did you give him his number or did Dave find him on it, like Instagram? I'm so confused. I Jonathan yeah. gave David my number. We were talking last night for an hour back and forth about our favorite <laughs> magic tricks. <laughs> this is a rich... <laughs> now, now, just so you it's... know... But Dave, you got to be clear. I asked first. I didn't just give out your number. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I don't. He, he, Jonathan said, "Hey, can I have him call? It, get you on Facebook?" And I said, "Give him my number." Wow. For, friend of Jonathan is a friend of mine. Look, when two magicians get together, you really just can't stand in their way. Magic you happens. You really can't. You just got to let the happens. magic happen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, stop screwing around, Fogel. Hey, all righty, um, all righty, Jonathan. Um, you heard the story about the, uh, I don't know, his deflecting and his cheating yeah. and let's go feed the dogs. And what did you pull out of this, uh, this war of the roses? Well, I, I kept on waiting for him to be like, uh, humana, 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 you know, what do you, you know, like one of those things where he's like, I'm just, I'm not, I'm caught, but I just want to deflect this. But you know, I, look, what it reminded me of, I had a case where there was some mistaken identity. Uh, a husband was, uh having an affair, sending text messages to and from the person he was having an affair with, and then um, accidentally sent one of those messages to his wife that was intended for the person that he was having the affair with. And it was one of those situations where he tried to tell her, oh, no, this was for you. Unfortunately, it was very clear that it was for somebody else. Wow. Yeah, I'll bet that does happen. We've all sent text messages to the wrong person. Uh, you, got, you got to be careful, Jonathan. So when we think about like co- this, reminded you of some tips because we always try to get yeah. Jonathan some tips of things that he's experienced in his twenty eight, twenty five, thirty year career. Uh, some tips that you can see that might help you out if you're going through a situation. What do you got? Yeah. So look, this reminded me a lot of like code names that are used within the family law area. Okay. Attorneys like to sound smart, so they try to use legalese and use all these you know acronyms. Right, so we can only kind of talk to each other. Okay. But I want to give those out so people know what these are. Um, so there's 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 a few of them that I wanted to point out. So the first three are kind of grouped together. You got D O M D as in David, D O M D O S and D O V. Three different acronyms. Okay. One of them stands for date of marriage. That's pretty easy, right? We talk about the date of marriage. 
The DOS stands for data separation, when the people start living separately. Hmm. But the really important one is DOV, which is data valuation, because we have to figure out if we're going to value your assets when you get divorced, they all have to be on the same date. So we're not comparing apples to oranges. Okay. So you hear that a lot. Okay. Like what would be an example of something that, that's got to be va- valued today? Like a car, rather in five years, a car is going to be worth $30,000 now and 15000 in five years, that type of thing? Yeah, something like that. But mostly it's things like retirement accounts or oh. other oh. Um, accounts that have. So if we compare January 1st for one retirement account on one person, we can't use uh, October 1st for the other one because they're different dates and they may have different values depending on the market. Okay. What, give me another acronym. Another acronym is, you hear this one a lot, ICMC, which is Initial Case Management Conference. It's the first thing, once you file for divorce, you go in front of a judge, and the, it's the first time for the judge to introduce themselves and then come up with a roadmap on how the case is going to be handled. We're going to go to mediation. Do we need a hearing? Very informal proceeding. Okay. And then the last one I want to talk about is, you hear this a lot, JD, J. And D, it's a judgment and decree. So when people talk about their divorce document, like, oh, my divorce decree, that's simply, we call that J and D. That's what it's called. And so now with all that knowledge, you too can sound like a lawyer without spending all the money to go to law school. Can I lie and tell people that I am a lawyer? (laughs) Okay. I cannot give you that advice. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay. Good, smart, so, d- smart, Jonathan. Did not yeah, fall into this trap. That's called a deflection right there. Deflecting. Nice. Okay. Um, <laughs> Jonathan's available for a free consultation, whether you want to do it on Zoom or on the phone or meet him in his office, whatever. Uh, Jonathan yep. is all about helping you out and uh, a free consultation. Kind of initially figure out what your problem is and see what direction Jonathan would point you and how he can help you. So, yeah, and sometimes well, people call, they're not even ready to move forward, but they just want to know what the process might look like, and I'm fine doing that as well. Okay, get a hold of Jonathan. You can find him online. I don't give his phone number out because I figure you're not listening with a pen and paper, <laughs> so you don't get his phone number, but it's on his website, FogelFamilyLaw.com, F-O-G-E-L, FogelFamilyLaw.com. Jonathan, uh, I will be talking to your brother David about magic a little bit later on, so uh, thanks for the setting that up. Appreciate it. No problem. I will now just disappear. How about that? <laughs> 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 Jonathan, thanks. Have a good weekend. We'll talk to you next All week. All right. You guys too. Take care.